Welcome to the homework for lesson 17. This is module 7 of grade 3. Write your name first, please, so you get credit for your homework. The shapes below are made up of rectangles. Label the unknown side lengths, and then write and solve an equation to find the perimeter of each shape. So uh, for each of these shapes, there's going to be some unknown sides. For here, for this one A, we're missing this side and that side. And to figure it out, we're just going to draw a line. You draw a line somewhere inside the shape that will make, make it into two rectangles or three rectangles. And then you can figure out from opposite sides of rectangles maybe what part of one side is and what part of another side is by subtracting. So on, and just with a couple of examples you'll see and uh, these kinds of puzzles are really popular on state tests so that you tend to see them a lot especially when you're starting to get um, ready um, practicing for state test questions you tend to see these a lot that time of year so if I draw a line right there um, what I'm looking to do is find this side right here because now I have a rectangle and if I can find out what that is then I'll know what this is well, I know what this 7 is. The 7 is that whole side right here, but I only need that part of it. Well, if I look down here, this is 4, which means this has to be 4. So if this is 4, then this has to be 3, because 3 and 4 make 7. So that's 3, then this is 3. I'm going to go back and erase this stuff that I just did there just to clean it up because I don't want to have any extra numbers flying around the outside of this that I might end up adding by accident into my perimeter. And now looking at this other side I have to find right here, I can see that, remember I figured out that this if this is, this is 2, then this is also 2. And I know since this whole thing here is 9, that this also has to be 9. So if this part here is a 2, then this side here has to be a 7, because 7 and 2 make 9. And now I have all the numbers I need to add to find the perimeter. And I like to have a routine for doing this so that it makes it easier to remember which number I started with and I don't accidentally add in the same side or skip a side when I get all the way around the shape. I just start at the top and I work my way around clockwise or to the, or to the right. So I'm going to start with the 7 plus 9 plus 4 plus 7 plus 3 plus 2. And adding up bunches of numbers like this, the first thing you tend to look for is ways to make 10. There's only one of those here, but I see this 7 and 9 is 16 and 4 more. That's a 20. So 20 plus 10 plus 2 more, that's 32. And it's meters. For B, everything is labeled except for this side right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to continue that line. Now with that hint, you might want to pause it and see if you can figure it out from there, and then check back. Um, here's what I'm going to do. Because I know that's 2, then I know that's 2. And if this is 2, then that is 2. Right? So I'm going to write these numbers inside. That's a 2, and that's a 2. And then now I know, because this is 8, this has to add up to 8. Now I already have two twos, that's 4, so I just need 4 more to make it to make the rest of the 8. Let me clean this up a little bit here. I know that this is a 4. I'm going to cross out these numbers inside because I don't need them for the perimeter. I don't want to add them in by accident. So starting at the top again, I've got 8 plus 5 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, plus 4, plus 2, plus 6. 
And looking for ways to make 10, I see a 6 and a 4. That's 1, 10. An 8 and a 2. That's another 10 for 20. I see this 2 and this 3 for 5. And that 5, that makes a 10 for 30. And then I have this 4 right here. So it's 34. And it's centimeters. And this, it's a, I'll just remind you right now, it's a video. You can pause it, go back over it. I mean, I'm kind of rushing through these a little bit. Honestly, I have to, because otherwise this video would just be so much fun. It would, it would be 30 minutes long, and nobody wants to watch a math homework video for 30 minutes. So I do kind of rush through it. But if you just, if you want to pause and catch up, or then, or just go back over a part that I, I rushed over, um, it uh, for it to make more sense, then please do that. I'll never know. And now we are looking for what sides are missing on this one. We need to know this one here and that one there. And now it's just first, oh, and this one too. You need to know that one. So once we figure out what those are, uh, we should be okay. And one of these is going to be really easy because I see right here, if this is 6, then this has to be 6. Right, because that because of that rectangle right there. And then I'm looking at uh, if this is 2, then this also has to be 2 because it's the opposite end of that rectangle. And now I have to figure out that very top part. Well, this is 12, which means that has to add up to 12. We already have two fours there, so we need one more four. And that means that this top part here is also four. And once you've done probably five or six of these, you start to get better at it and you start to figure out what, you know, you just kind of stumble your way through it sometimes and draw lines and try and figure out what's equal to what else and then figure out the parts and then all of a sudden there it is. Uh, so starting at the top again, and I'm, I'm going to, for safety's sake, I'm going to cross out the, uh, or, or erase the numbers that are in the middle, the ones they don't need for my perimeter. And I'm going to add these in. Although you might, let's see. I like to, it's better actually to leave them in there and cross them out. So that way it shows how you figured it out. A lot of times your teacher will want to see that. So starting at the top, 4 plus 6 plus 4 plus 2 plus 12 plus 2 plus 4 plus 6. All right, well, I see 4s and 6s. Those are 10s. And then I see, what do we have in the middle here? We have... Uh, 12 and 2 is, oh, that's uh, 14, 16, and 4 more. That's 20, so that's 210. So 20, 30, 40, 40 inches. And you might have had a better way to do it than I, than I did. I kind of stumbled my way through that one. Uh, for the for the uh, for the addition, maybe you had a different order, a different way to mentally do it. That's great. Um, for this one D, we have to figure out this side and that side. Those are the two that are not labeled. And for this, uh, I think my hint is I'm going to start by drawing a line here. There are other ways to do it, but this just the that's just where I'm drawing my line. So I'm going to work with it. Uh, here's what I'm looking at: is that uh, if this is 7, then we have 3 plus that one is 4. So the rest of it here has to be, it's, you know, the difference between 4 and 7. So there's 3 left. And if you don't really get, that doesn't totally make sense. Sometimes you can just think of this. 
and think of that as a, as a rectangle too so that you know that this whole side this whole side here would be the seven that that side is that might just help you see it to think of it that way and now we still need to let me clean this up still need to find this one here and I'm going to use the same kind of idea but on the other direction so if this is 8 this is 2 plus 3 plus whatever this is has to equal 8 because that's what it is going across those all those have to add up to 8 so that's 2 and 3 is 5 so I need 3 more so it has to be a 3 and now I found my sides starting from the top going to the right 2 plus 3 plus 3 plus 1 plus 3 plus 3 plus 8 plus 7 now let's see we have we get a lot of threes here you could use those but I, I'm always looking for tens so there's 2 and 8 that's a 10 and 3 and 7 that's another 10 so that's 20 and then I see three threes which is a 9 plus a 1 that's another 10 so 10 20 30 and its feet sorry draws and labels the squares and rectangle below find the perimeter of the new shape so this is another one of those puzzles it just looks different uh, we have six centimeter squares it looks like so that's a six that's a six that's a six that's a six if that's 18 then this is 18 and now we can just add up all those numbers uh, we could just look at this side right here and add up those to figure it out but we, we could just write it all out here starting at the uh, we'll start up at here for the at the top with this six six plus eighteen plus six plus six plus six plus eighteen plus six plus six well that's a lot each eighteen is really three sixes right so that's uh six sixes there six seven eight nine ten 11 12 uh, and so 12 sixes 72 or you might stop at 10 and say that's 60 and I think the last two sixes is 12 more 60 and 12 72 you might get it that way Label the unknown side lengths, then find the perimeter of the shaded rectangle. Okay, so we have to find this one and that one. They're labeled A and B. And it's difficult to add letters to numbers, so we have to figure out what, what numbers they can be. So this is the same same kind of same kind of puzzle we've been working on. We have to find a way to figure out here we have if this side here is 8 then this side here has to be 8 and if we know this part here is 2 then this part has to be 6 because 2 plus 6 equals 8 then we use the same trick for the other side if I know this is 18 then this has to be 18 and if this part here is 5 then A has to be 13 because 5 plus 13 equals 18. So now I know that it's a 13 by 6 rectangle. The shaded rectangle is 13 
13 on that side, and 6 on that side. So I've labeled them. Let's label them with units too. The perimeter is P equals 6 plus 13 plus 6 plus 13, right? Because these opposite sides. P equals, and you might know that that's 19. You might know the two 19s is 38, or you might think of it as uh, you might use a compensation strategy to figure out it's almost 20 plus 20 and two less for 38. There's lots of different ways to add that together mentally.